going to talk about uh, moving to second base that I think is very beneficial when holding on runners. I think you have, as a righty especially, you have a little more uh, lenient. You could be a little more lenient with uh, your moves. So as a lefty, as I talked about before, you have the advantage of having that high leg kick at first. But as a righty, you can't really see that runner too well. So if you have if you have a high leg kick, they're going to steal a lot of bases off you, especially because you can't trick them with a lefty move. So a lot of times with a guy just at first or first and third, they need to slide step and be quick to home. But when there's a runner on second, you know, first and second, second, bases loaded, they can mix it up between a slide step or a high leg kick because the runner at first, he has nowhere to go. He, he can't run anywhere when second base is occupied. So now he has the ability to mix it up. He's mixing up his looks. He's pausing. He's holding He's holding the runner on the best he can. So with the high leg kick, that brings in the ability to give a, a wheel move. I call it a wheel move. Some people call it an inside move. Some people call it a spin move. But then, you know, the spin move gets a little bit... Uh, confused between this and this. So I like to call it the wheel move. So what happens here is you come set and when you pick your leg up, all you're doing is turning and going towards second base. Now from there, you have the option to throw the ball or you could just come off the rubber and go right to second. Now, if, now this is really beneficial because if a runner is uh, too eager to take off, he, he's not going to hesitate sometimes. He's not going to wait and make sure you go home. So as soon as you lift that leg up, if he takes off, don't even worry about throwing the ball in a second. If he takes off, just come off the rubber and then go follow, get that throw to third, and get the guy in a rundown. Now if he's going back to second, yeah, fire it to second base. But the wheel moves gives you options because you don't have to throw the ball over there. It's a good way to check that runner back at second and keep him keep him at bay. Because if he's getting huge secondaries or he's thinking about stealing, he's going to be that much closer to home on a hit. So if you have if he if you're on his mind, he's going to want to be a little more anchored to second base, which makes a throw from the outfield a little bit easier if he tries to run home. And all it is here with holding out runners is you're not really trying to get an out. You're just trying to keep him at second or you're trying to keep him at first. Now, if you get an out, that's a plus. He's going to pick himself off, right? You're not picking a guy off. He picks himself off. So, again, you just come set. You lift your leg up. Now, if it's there, go ahead and throw it. If it's not, just reset, get back on the mound, or get him in a rundown. This is a great move to do when it's 3-2. If, if the count's 3-2 and two outs and first base is occupied, which means there's going to be a force out somewhere, so first, first and second, or bases loaded, this is a great time to do this with a guy at second because they're all going to be moving on the pitch. If he goes right away, it's a free out. Go get him. Now, again, if there's base loaded, it's a shortstop job to watch that guy at, that, at third to make sure he doesn't score. But with three, two, two outs, it really is a free out if they're not paying attention. Their job is to make sure that you go home. If, if they don't do that, go ahead and get that out. It's a lot better to get it out on the bases than it is to risk throwing a ball home and leaving one right over the middle of the plate, especially with a guy in scoring position, because then you're potentially giving up a tying run, a winning run, you know, something that could really have a big impact on the game. 